Well, howdy do da. What have we got here? Welcome to America. I'm just sitting here in this bright patch wishing you a fine day. And this bright patch, what you guys call brambles, is where my story comes from today. It's about someone who lives in this here bright patch. Do you know who it is? Well, I'm just gonna come up mighty close just to show you a thing or two. Well, I'm gonna want you to put your hands up high. Don't you just go worrying. I'm not gonna shoot ya. But I want you to fold down those fingers, raising your first and your second on both hands. Then put them up on the top of your head. Turn them around mighty slow and give them a wriggle. Now you got yourself some rabbit ears. What else do we need to be a rabbit? Oh yeah, those big front teeth. I hope you brushed your teeth this morning. Give me a nice big smile. And then stick out those front teeth of yours. And now you're ready to eat a whole ton of carrots. And I got myself a whole ton of rabbits out there. <laughs> do you know who the story's about yet? Bray Rabbit. Once upon a time, oh no, not twice upon a time, just the once upon a time, there was a rabbit, Bray Rabbit, and he lived in a bright patch, just like this one, that's brambles to you, and he was asleep in his cozy little hole when one morning, there was such a noise and a commotion going on outside that he woke up. He rubbed those rabbit eyes of his and peeked his head, wiggled those rabbit ears of his and looked outside of his hole. And there was little Bray Squirrel running around crazy. Oh no, I don't know, oh no. What's going on, Squirrel? Said Bray Rabbit. Have you heard the word, the word? Have you heard the word? The word have you heard? No, squirrel, I ain't heard no word. What do you want about? Well, the little squirrel sure was scared of something. So Bray Rabbit said, Bear, Bray Bear, what's this little squirrel going on about? Oh, it's not good. Have you heard the word? The word have you heard? Look, I ain't heard no word at all. What are you going on about? Well, the thing is, that fox, he's going to move in to our bright patch. Now, he only has one thing on his mind when he looks at us, and it's food. Now, I know he can't eat me. I'm a great big bear, but he sure be looking at my pantry and stealing all my good food. And squirrel, squirrel looks like something tasty on the plate in the eyes of my thoughts. And you, bird rabbit, he sure likes a bite of you. Oh, yeah, I know that. Ah, oh, that's not right. Him coming around here and taking over our patch. This bright patch is for you, Bray Bear, and for Bray Squirrel, and me, Bray Rabbit, and Bray Chickmunk, and all the other critters who live around here. But that fox, he ain't living around here. That's bad news. Oh, I know, said Squirrel. And such bad news. What are we going to do? Oh, please, Bray Rabbit, come on, think of something to do. You've got to go tell him he can't live here. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think I've been going around there because uh, me and the fox, we don't get on that well. You know, he looks at me and he tips out a knife. He looks at me and he licks those nips of his. Oh, I know, I know that, but you know, you're the one who can run faster than me, the squirrel, or he's going to bite me for sure. Well, I think perhaps... Way there, you should go and tell him you can't come and live around here. Oh no, I don't think I can be doing that because the minute I turn my back, he'd be in my pantry. You know that, like, well, you know he's like, I don't think I should be open. No, no, it's a job for you, Bray Rabbit. Oh, well, I don't think it's a job for me for real, but uh, why don't you two go together and help each other out? Oh no, I just couldn't go, I'm just too frightened, said the squirrel. Oh no, I just don't think I can be doing that, said the bear. This is a job for you. This is a job for you, Bray Rabbit, for sure. Well, just you let me think about it, said Bray Rabbit. I need to go to the pool, get myself a fresh drink, and fresh myself up for the rest of the day. So off, oh, oh, Bray Rabbit 
to the pool. And on that morning, oh, that pool looked so calm and smooth. When you looked inside, it was like a mirror glass. Oh, that taste of that water, oh. Where Rabbit, he tasted that water and it woke him right up. And then he looked into that mirror glass water and he could see his long ears. He hadn't seen himself for a while and he went, oh, look at those ears of mine. They've been growing tall over the years. Oh, look at those whiskers of mine. They're looking mighty fine. And, oh, oh, look at those bright white front teeth of mine. They're looking nice and shiny. I'm looking kind of good in that pool. So, I'm glad I don't look like that dirty old fox with his spacky, messy teeth and those pawny ears of his. Oh, no, I wouldn't want to look. Ah. And that gave Br'er Rabbit an idea. So off he ran as fast as he could, finding out where that fox hole was. Hey, hey, fox, fox, fox. I gotta tell you something. Came running out of his home. Why, Br'er Rabbit, nice to see you coming around here. Welcome to my new home. I'll just put the kettle on and get my nice and folks out. You're just in time for mm, dinner. Oh, no, you ain't got no time for dinner, said Br'er Rabbit. You ain't got no time at all. You gotta run out here because I've just been down the pool. And there's a great big monster in that pool. Oh, my goodness, you should see him. A monster? What's a monster doing in the pool? I don't think I want to see monster, said the fox. Oh, no, you sure don't. You better run, because he's coming around and he's going to eat us all. Every one of us is going to eat inside his stomach. That's what's going to happen. Oh, 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 I don't want that to happen, said the fox. I better go take a look at this great big monster. What is it? Well, I don't know. It's got funny ears and sharp teeth. And, oh, it looks a rat mess. I don't like it at all. Oh, no, it's no good. Hi. Well, if you're a brave fox, you can go take a look at it, but I'm out of here. And off ran Br'er Rabbit. Have you guessed it? Have you guessed it? The fox, he went down to that smooth, clear glass pool, and he hadn't seen himself in quite some time. He had no idea what his face was looking like. And when he peered into the waters and opened his mouth, all he saw was a creature with great big teeth grinning back at him. All he saw was a creature with great eyes just staring at him. All he saw was a creature with teeth and eyes and great big pointy ears. All he could see was messy whiskers everywhere. And he'd never seen anything so terrible as that monster inside the pool. And he just yelped and turned around and ran as fast as he could. Clear out of the briar patch and over the fields and far away. Well, Br'er Rabbit, he was just lying back inside that bread patch and he started a laugh. <laughs> we got rid of that fox, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Well, the fox got rid of himself, just looking at himself in that clear glass pool. Ha, <laughs> ha. I win the day again. Well, good day to you, friends. I enjoyed talking to you, and that fox is far away, so we're all safe in our bread patch. Nice and comfy. So did Br'er Rabbit remind you of someone? I know some of you have been to America, and some of you like those Disney theme parks. Well, let me ask you a question. What do you call a bunny who's got fleas? You know, Bugs Bunny, of course. And that's who Br'er Rabbit might remind you of. That's all, folks.